What's up, YouTube? This video is brought to you by Weebull. If you'd like to help out the channel and get some free stock, make sure you check out my link below. Hey, I'm Chris Sane, and today's video class will be in session as I want to kind of walk you guys through some things to dominate even more on your option plays, guys. Make sure you take some notes on this one and lock into what I'm going to teach today. And then, guys, I want to see you go out and apply it this week when we hit our option plays out the park, okay? Listen, guys, if I helped you out in any way, whether I was helping you make some money or give you a new perspective on the stock market, please make sure you like and subscribe and join us on the journey. Now, let's get to it. Okay, guys, classes and sessions. I'm jumping right into it on today, guys. Okay, so listen, it's an opportunity for learning around here. Okay, it's one thing for me to help you build wealth, but I want to make sure that beyond me, if I ever was to leave YouTube and just go live my retired life, you guys know these nuggets that I know you're not going to get nowhere else on YouTube, or at least you, nobody going to give it up the way that I'm going to give it up to you. Okay, so listen, guys, I want you to. Take some notes today and pay close attention to what I'm about to show you, okay? How many of you guys know the Wu-Tang, okay? We call this the Wu right here. Tell me what letter do you see and what letter represents the Wu-Tang, okay? I'm about to teach you guys something because I think some of you guys are leaving too much money on the table, okay? I'm giving you home runs every single week with options, but I'm not certain that you guys are seeing the big picture. So. That's neither here nor there. I don't care. I'm going to help you because I want you guys to be great. I want you to dominate the game. Tell me what letter do you see? How many of you guys see the W? Okay. I'll show it in my chart right here, guys. From 950, you have one part of the dub. Okay. It comes down here. Then you have the middle piece. It comes down here. And then you have the other part of the dub at 350. Look at this, guys. This is just a micro level of what you guys can do on a grand scale. You guys know the messaging around here. I always talk about marathons. I always talk about being patient. I always talk about staying 10 toes down, but I always talk about get in and get out. Don't be greedy, buy the dip, okay? Stuff like that, okay? Those are principles, okay? Around here, the messaging is consistent. I say the same thing in all of my teachings, which is why the results are immaculate in terms of the success. It's how we gonna always go zero to 100K as long as we're listening, as long as we're putting stop losses on, the whole nine yards, okay, guys? Because we should dominate Wall Street no matter how much they try to manipulate and hate on what we do around here. So check this out. Look at this W, okay? Now look at how much money could have been made here. I often say stuff like, if you're gonna do a put or take what the market gives you, so this play out the gate ran up at 950. It hit a high around here, around $60. But then it sold off the rest of the day. For those that know how to do puts, this play came all the way down from 60 to 58. Okay, now this is just a micro level of what you guys could be doing. If you have a put, it's cool. Make your money on a put. But then look at this. You're going to have at some point, your stock is going to hit a bottom, okay? This would be the bottom right here where my screen is at, okay? 11.55, okay? So you might not get the timing perfect. So you might say around 12 o'clock or you might say around 11.50 to 12 o'clock, that 10 minute range you might give yourself. And then look, it shot up from 59 or the lower end of 59 back up towards 60, okay? You guys know if you do your options right, it don't take a lot of movement in the options. You don't need it to go up $10 to make a bunch of money, okay? This is one exact play that you could do and make a bunch of money in in either direction, okay? Then it cooled off at around $12.50, and then from $12.50 all the way down, let's just take it to $2.35, it, again, bottomed out before again revving back up again to go up to again over sixty dollars and forty cent around the high of sixty forty five according to this particular chart look at the woo guys throw the w up man if you know about hip-hop if you real hip-hop heads if you even know what the Wu tang is okay and go look it up if you don't know because this is an example 
of the money you could be making when you have a car. So this week, okay, make sure you guys sign up for the options below. Join the Discord and the Patreon at the link below. But this week, I'm going to send you guys some home runs on Sunday night at 9 o'clock. Make sure you sign up for the options. You guys got to be looking at the chart and looking at what the sentiment of the market is doing. Okay, so check this out. I often say, take what the market gives you. Some weeks, it's a guarantee home run. We're buying a car. It ain't going to be no puts. Ain't going to be no downward movement. Some weeks, it's going to be, guys, we're doing a put. The market is going to crash this week. We're going to just ride the market all the way down. But some weeks, you have what's called an uncertain, choppy market. You're going to make money on the way up like I do, and you make money on the way down. We always should be making money in both directions, okay? So this is just an example of, now this is a micro example, but this happens throughout the week. Have you guys ever noticed on Monday and Tuesday, your play is doing one thing, okay? And then on Wednesday and Thursday, your play is doing another thing. Guys, take that intel into account and dominate Wall Street, okay? For instance, we hit a home run this week on Palantir. We did a put on Palantir on Monday. Monday and Tuesday, the put was golden. I only gave a put, but I, my savvy investors, major salute to the, to the team, to the family, my savvy investors saw that after we crushed the put, Palantir came down to $25, $24, and then they rolled it up from $24 to $29. Guys, it, all it did was make a W. All it did was do this same movement here. I got one more example for you. Somebody look at square for me, ticker symbol SQ. Tell me what letter do you see on this? Uh, once again, I need you guys to throw up the W for the Wu, okay? If you know about Wu Tang, throw up the W if you see the W again on the charts. Always, the charts are trying to talk to you guys, okay? You got to listen to what the game is giving you, okay? It can be hard when you're starting off, but if you got somebody like myself that's walking alongside you, giving you layups, giving you home runs, guys, take advantage of this. Let's go through this example again. Let's just start at 9.55. Have you guys been keeping track of these times? Have you noticed that 9.55, that's why I say wait the first 15, 20 minutes of the market, and then you get the chance to see what the market does. 9.55, it goes up towards its morning high, and then it sold all the way off, all the way to 11.50. So that's about two hours that it went down for. So put the times in your head so that you guys ain't just sitting and looking and looking goofy all day, not knowing what time things take place. All this stuff is like clockwork. If you start studying the game and you take notes, you will master the game. And this is a skill that will help you retire early, become multi-millionaires, lead a corporate plantation, if you guys are willing to learn this. And then look, from 1150, it had a nice run up to around 1220 before it traded sideways from 1220 for 30 minutes. And then it kind of worked its way back down. But look, watch this. From 150 to around the high of 330, right before market closed, it shot out one more time. That's a W, guys. This is the type of stuff where if you're patient enough, if you are being surgical, you make money on the way down, you make money on the way up. Of course, this is a micro level. But if you do this through the course of the week, you're going to say, Man, I seen my play up on Monday and Tuesday. It was down on Wednesday. You guys are calling off the winners right there. If it was up, meaning it was up high, 955, it was sitting up and it came down throughout the week, okay? Then you gotta know on Wednesday or Thursday or whatever the day is, it's gonna go back up. It goes up and down, up and down till it makes a W, okay? And so we call that the woo around here, man. So throw your W's up if you see these letters forming in front of your face, okay? Because, guys, it's consistent week in and week out, okay? The, now, again, it may look a little different. Sometimes you guys have to be, uh, again, tapped in. I'm showing you a one day. But if you go look at a week out, or if you just look at, man, like Chris said, we bought Palantir at 26 on Monday morning. 2650 2680 and it came down to 2524 okay then you my vets we bought a call and you ride that up from 24 and it shot up to 29 last week okay uh, we was only looking for it to go back maybe 
to 26, 27, because we've been knocking on the door of that anyway. Okay, guys. So listen, man, that's just a quick lesson on today. I just wanted to show you the opportunities that's right in front of your face, but I'm not showing that you are even looking at your charts to even see. So I want to remind you, pay attention to your chart, pay attention to these lines. They are intel and they're trying to tell you a story. They're like, what's up, family? I'm going up in the morning. I'm going to crash down as soon as 930 hit, then I'm going to pop up the rest of the day or vice versa. But you got to watch because depending on the stock you look at, the movement may be different. OK, so listen, guys, I'm preparing to dominate like I do each and every week. I need you to be hitting them off the park right alongside me. Major salute for all of you that's doing it. We getting more and more people that's crushing it. But I want to see even more people crush it. I want you guys' confidence to continue to grow. I want to help you guys get these small victories so that you know, man, if I did need a part-time job, I can trade options. If I did need some supplemental income, I can get it through my options by being surgical and smart like Chris has taught us to be so that I can win in these plays and it just come a lot easier versus you buying randomly and recklessly and then you're losing on plays we're all winning on guys i don't i don't like that i'm a guy that's here for the right reason and i want to see you win so if you're not winning a lot of times you got to ask yourself well, where's my entry at and that's what i need you guys to do if you're not hitting these out the park take note for me like i want you to document where did you enter did you buy on this dip right here at 11:50? if you was going to do a call and did you so were you patient enough to wait for two hours and 20 minutes before you jumped into your play that I sent you or that, that you might do on your own? Or did you just jump in at 9.55 and then, oh, I, I bought a call because I thought it was about to go up and then it go down the whole time and then you lose your money, but then you're mad as opposed to saying, you know what, let me make a note of my entry so that I know where I'm getting in at. Let me see where I exited at. Let me see what time of day it was. All of this intel that I teach each and every day, it matters, guys. It's the only reason my success rate is so high. It's the only reason that I'm able to consistently win with options, okay? Every single play, though, is not a 100% gain. Sometimes it's a 40% return. Sometimes it's a 60%, 80% return. And of course, I knock them off the park quite often. I do 100, 120%, 300%. That's, but that's not what the goal is. Small victories, guys, 40%. 30% because you can just keep doing it. Look, you can you could you could ride this down 40% gain right here, boom, and then jump back in this and get a 30% gain just from here to here. And then boom, you have made a, a substantial amount of money on one or two contracts. Okay. And you can keep doing that all week once you guys start paying a little closer attention and be surgical about how you go about it. Know when you enter, know what you want to accomplish each and every time out you choose to do options okay listen guys i won't hold you up today just wanted to teach you the cheat code in terms of how to look at the, what the market is giving you and use it to your advantage guys listen options will go out sunday night at nine make sure if you want to make some money this week you get your option plays in send me a screenshot so that i know that you rocking with us for this week and we're going to get ready to dominate today and guys i'll see you in the next one